being in spaces, you know, as an entrepreneur, that even sometimes is something that is like really interesting to me because I kind of identify because of my cultural background as multiple things um, and can relate to multiple things. Um, so I think it's really important that people, yeah, do recognize that black people aren't a big monolith. <laughs> yeah. You know, I want to pivot towards your identity, right? Do you mainly identify, you know, with your cultural heritage, um, your nationality, or your skin color? Uh, that's a really good question. Honestly, I feel like it depends on what context that I'm in. Um, I know when I go through my day-to-day -day life that people see me as a black girl. And so growing up in this, like, where I didn't really see myself as one thing, I, you know, really identified as someone who came from this, like, mixed culture heritage but recognizing that in Canada people see me as black and that's kind of I think this is you know and I'm pretty sure I feel bad to like put, put this on you but even as I assume as a, a someone who's mixed kind of having that struggle where you identify as one thing but if everyone identifies you as something else yeah. you're kind of have to sometimes accept what everyone else sees you as definitely um, and I think that is you know something that I've struggled with and I think even when it comes to the context now of being in spaces you know, as an entrepreneur, that even sometimes is something that is like really interesting to me because I kind of identify because of my cultural background as multiple things um, and can relate to multiple things. You know, some of me making a joke about something and I'll joke, like laugh along. And they're like, why do you? I'm like, because we do the exact same thing in my culture. Um, so I think that it's like it's it's a mix for me on like kind of how I identify. So if I'm maybe around other Caribbean people, then I definitely identify as um, being, you know, Trini. Um, if I'm traveling, then it's definitely always Canadian. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, very much, very proud to yeah. wear the flag. Um, but I know on a day-to-day -day basis, I think kind of, yeah, definitely identifying as a black woman is kind of probably the biggest identity that mm -hmm. I do have. Um, and I think it is definitely very, you know, interesting within the sector to see how that plays out. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, blackness is such a an umbrella term, right? There's so many cultures, so many different countries that are incorporated within that. But you know, it's nice to be able to just identify. So you you see someone who looks like you, and you and there's already a connection there just based off. For sure. Of, you're you know, walking down the street and you do the black head nod. Yeah, yeah you, you do the <laughs> and black. And like, if someone doesn't do it, then I get offended. I'm like, oh no, what did I do wrong? The black head nod for sure. If, 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 I love traveling because sometimes uh, you know I'll be somewhere like China or I went to Vietnam and stuff like that, and it's like, like you see you it, you, just, you do it, and it's like it's really interesting to see. I think especially from the Canadian context, um, you know, I think a lot of what we see or what people learn about culture is based on what they see from American media. TV. Um, yeah. And it, it sometimes, you know, it's really funny to see some of those differences because somewhere from the black, especially in the South, they'll say something and I'm like, I have no clue what that is. Yeah. Like, just don't identify with it. Um, so I think it's really important that people, yeah, do recognize that black people aren't a big monolith. <laughs> yeah.